Hi, Falasten here from aspinning.co.uk. This is a reworking of a video I did when Google Plus was around, so it's buried deep within this channel somewhere, and it's actually under a different branding uh, when we had a channel, part of Google Plus's live hangouts called What's in Your Music Collection. And I didn't cover this box set again because uh, there was a review on the Now Spinning website by uh, one of our contributors called Joe Geesing, who's done a review of this, which is the Rainbow Light in the Black um, box set. But I felt that I, I should go through it now that I'm probably feeling a bit more confident in how I do these videos. What's interesting about this box set is it was called a Light in the Black and the track a Light in the Black isn't actually on it. So I think that was an oversight considering Light in the Black is probably seen as with Stargazer, the pinnacle, the top of the output for dramatic excitement and musicality that Rainbow ever, ever did, but it's not on it. But there was a time when this box set dropped to about 15 pounds and considering it includes literally five CDs and a DVD, and various other things which I'm going to show you now, it really puts to shame how much, say, some of the Black Sabbath deluxe editions are and what you actually get with them. So you can still track this down. It was put together with, I feel, a lot of thought. So the purpose of this video, like a lot of my unboxing ones, is, is to enable those of you who haven't got it to, have, to be able to see what's inside the box, to decide whether you want to bid or track down a copy uh, wherever you can. And also, if you've already got it, it's a chance for me to waffle on and say what I love about it. Because as the, Richard Blackmore is in my top five guitarists of all time. So when this box set came out, I think I was one of the first people in the queue to get a copy. So let's have a look inside. Rainbow, A Light in the Black, 1975 to 1984. The box set named after the track that's not in it from 2014. This was such a fantastic bargain at the time. And I was so excited to get this. And the first thing that you'll, you find is the, the book, a bit like the Sabbath Deluxe ones. And this goes through in chronological order, um, listing all the rainbow members. My God, it's bigger than a football team. This is my favourite picture of Richie Blackmore of all time. And this was the picture used to advertise the first album, which was put in places you wouldn't imagine, even like news agents. Some pictures there from that cover. Richie Blackmore from Deep Purple there. The Oyster label. The concert uh, programme from 1976, which on my other video you can see is it He's autographed by Robert Plant. The story is elsewhere. Supported by Stretch. Oh, what a concert that was. What a year to be into music. And then we're moving forwards to Rainbow on Stage. And we've got pictures from the Japanese cover, which is cool. Because obviously most of us didn't see this. An advert from there. And by this time, Richie Blackmore ruled the world. Um, sounds, this is before the age of Kerrang, but my God, Richie Blackmore dominated sounds. And he went to 1978. Punk might have been flying high elsewhere, but as far as rock fans were concerned, when we heard Mistreated and that guitar intro by Richie Blackmore, all was fine with the world. And then they changed direction a bit, but it didn't bother me. I just thought more... I just thought my favourite band is now everywhere since you've been God. And um, he certainly was around that time. And I went to see them on the uh, Castle Donington first Monsters of Rock concert and they were just awesome. So I remember this very well. And then, of course, we went into more melodic rock. But even then, things like uh, at the B side of Can't Happen Here, is it uh, Jealous Guy was brilliant? And then I remember that cover from Kerrang! I still have it, and I have that one as well. Might do a feature on those in the future. Uh, Bent Out of Shape. I just the only difference for me was around this time was I didn't go after the bootlegs anymore because there wasn't so much improvisation as the early years. But I still was mad on Rainbow. 
and Bent Out of Shape is one of my favourite albums. And then at the back, you've got the track listings. Um, a lot of this is or unreleased or, or different versions. Also in the box, which I thought was rather cool, was a programme from the Straight Between the Eyes tour. I think it's probably one of the first box sets that started this trend for reproducing uh, tour programmes. This is Jolyn Turner. Not everybody was a fan, but I've always liked his voice. That was cool. And then we have a poster, which I shall cut away to now, so you can see what that's like. And then we were into the discs. These may not be in the right order. Um, disc one, just single discs, all came in cellophane wrapping, which is rather nice. Then you've got Black Sheep of the Family, Seventh Century Greensleeve, Snake Charmer, Temple of the King. Then we've got rough mixes of Tarot Woman, Stargazer, and Woman with the Wolf, which are also on the deluxe version of Rising, and then other versions from the Japanese tour. Disc number two was 1977 to 78. Now this had rehearsals um, from Pirate Sound. The quality of these is all right, to be honest. And then some live stuff from 78 as well. Um, so that, that's also well worth having. In fact, the whole thing is rare, though I've said that. Disc three, 79 to 1980, Eyes of the World, instrumental version. Some of those are on the deluxe version of Down to Earth. Uh, since you've gone bad girl, etc. Then you've got some live stuff. Some of the live stuff here, the quality drops a little bit, but um, it's still worth having. You've got the live version of Stargazer, and then 1981 to 82. Um, Jealous Lover, sorry, that was the one, got that wrong earlier on. And uh, then the live stuff, which is all good in San Antonio, of course, is the live DVD, but in audio. And then, of course, finally, disc five, actually, it's not finally, but the final one you've got here are some outtakes. Anybody there, Drinking with the Devil, outtake with alternative guitar solo, Snowman, Street to Dream, and then live stuff in Cardiff. This, the Cardiff stuff, is really, really good. And I, I do hope one day that all comes out. And this, of course, the Japanese one did come out um, in the Richie Blackmore story. And then finally, the DVD which has been tweaked a little bit, but it's a bit rough around the edges, but it is the whole of the live Monsters at Rock Castle Donington DVD. So some of them are truncated, but it's still a wonderful thing to have. So Light in the Black, five CDs, one DVD, posters, programs, books, um, and lots of unreleased stuff. And I do feel that if you're into Richie Blackmore, Rainbow Deep Purple, 70s rock, classic rock, um, then this is an essential um, component to your music collection. Um, it was very well put together. Um, there was a few Rainbow Deluxe editions all popping out at the same time, and but it's well worth tracking down. So if you can get one, I highly recommend it. So thank you to my patrons and subscribers. Thank you for all your lovely comments and emails. And thank you for supporting me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video.